fear him. Police respect him. Women need him. Men envy him. He's the square-jawed yet world-weary hero your dad always wanted to be. He's the diamond in the rough, fighting crime by breaking rules that haven't been written yet. He's even, when appropriate, seen with ethnics and women. The Bald Eagle Broadcasting System presents Gordon Moorhead in Moorhead Rides Again! He smokes 60 a day, he drinks a quarter rye at lunch, he has incredible powers of reasoning, and he keeps America safe when government intervention cannot. Sleep easy, America. Someone else is worrying about things so you don't have to. This episode of Moorhead Rides Again is brought to you by Los Santos Affordable Homes and Redwood Tobacco. Before we start this week's episode of Moorhead Rides Again, we'd like to tell you about a remarkable free offer. You can own an incredible, genuine Gordon Moorhead detective badge, replica gun, and packet of candy cigarettes, so you can help protect your neighborhood the same way Gordon protects America. All you need to do is get your dad or uncle to write a check for $10. Send it in, and you'll be sent a certificate of graduation from the Moorhead School of Investigation, along with your badge, gun, and smokes. Work real crimes, solve murders, kill people with impunity, and smoke, just like a real crime fighter. Or sit on your couch wishing you had a dad who really loved you, and a future as something other than a ninny. And now, Morehead rides again in Morehead and the Soviet Titwank, or Reds Under the Bed. Read all about it, read all about it. Soviet spies corrupting the nation, read all about it. Communists ruining your family, sleeping with your wife, pleasuring them better than you ever could. Read all about it. Molly. Come in here and bring me some napalm. Gordon, I'm right here. We're on TV now. Besides, we moved to the West Coast. We don't need napalm anymore. That's for clearing out the swamps of Vice City and setting bad guys on fire. Exactly, toots. Which is why I was checking if you're paying attention. It's not your fault you're slow. You're made for making babies. And I'm made to think about making babies with you from behind while solving impossible crimes. Boy, do I miss old Pablo. What a sidekick. We solved some great crimes together. I think you're lying, you son of a bitch. Ay, he is hot like a tamale. <laughs> Get me a marshmallow. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Get that, will you? Of course, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, I'm so happy we moved from the swamps of Vice Beach to the desert paradise of Los Santos, where American ingenuity and just a little Canadian water has turned the harsh desert into a beautiful and very natural paradise of golf clubs, sprinkler systems, beautiful fruit farms, and hydroelectrical dams, filled with happy families and all the glamour of Vinewood. Oh, this place really is paradise, Gordon. <laughs> Silly me. And don't forget, Starter homes are very attractively priced here. And I enjoyed a very exciting two-hour traffic jam after doing calisthenics on the beach. Exercise can be very dangerous for a woman, Molly. If you lose an ounce of that cushion, men will never court you. A man wants a woman with some thickness to her so she won't die during childbirth. Oh, you're right again, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, this place is like a dream. Hmm. Even paradise has a dark side. Is that a redwood you're smoking, Gordon? Yes, a redwood. It's a vigorous cigarette that 9 out of 10 physicians recommend. All American tobacco, of course. Smooth, sophisticated, and yet passionate and caring. A woman in your hands and a tiger in your lungs. Great while relaxing in a hospital or while playing tennis or yachting. Oh, Lord! Who's that? Quiet, broad. Mm, how? Hello, Redskin. Aren't you on the wrong show? I am, but actors' contracts are um complicated things, and Central Casting ordered them chief. I, uh, come from reservation. We live there like kings, but something has come to Los Santos that will disturb um peace between white men and Indian. Ah, uh, if only Pablo were here. With his Mexican cunning, he could make sense of what this indigenous savage is going on about. No, Pablo. He big problem. Chief! Another chief. That's right. Pablo's a hell of a problem. He's a goddamn communist! <gasps> Our Pablo! Yes, Squaw. 
For a many moons, star peoples have lived happily together. We simple savages were a honor to give up our land, so drags from Europe build Midwest chain restaurants, kill 90% of our people and herd us into tiny pens, only letting us out to drink firewater and work construction jobs. But now, all this bliss is being ruined. Say, Paleface, got him Redwood? Yes, I'd like a Redwood cigarette as well. Perfect for chiefs of all kinds everywhere. For gentlemen from all walks of life. Hmm, how? I'd like one too, but they're too manly for me. Damn straight, Chippy. Hey, I don't understand what Pablo has to do with all this. The Redskin says something terrible is coming. He thinks it's communism, Gordon, and he's not happy about it. His people could smell this stuff in the wind. There's some land of freedom, not land to share equally. What he's trying to say, Gordon, is this is a land of freedom, not a land to share equally. I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, being a woman, I can't help but stick my nose in where it doesn't belong and amble cluelessly through life. Can I fix you gentlemen a drink? Damn straight you can, woman. Two scotches and a ceremonial bowl of water for the cheap. I'm on wagon. I'd use the local police force, but uh, the fact is, Gordon, they're useless. Lone existentialist crime fighters like yourself, men with an addiction to justice. They're much better at fighting evil than government fat cats and bloated examples of America's descent into decadence. Amen. We think that the commies have infiltrated the moving pictures. They're writing subversive themes into scripts to influence our children and women. The fact is, there's only one kind of red we like in this country. A red skin who knows his place and wears feathers a lot while having very little understanding of syntax. Not com Goddamn communists! There's communists? In Vinewood? Oh, but this used to be a nice country. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Molly, of what I'll do when I catch them. Me scalp them big nasty. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, simmer down. Sorry. We'll have to find a way to sneak onto that motion picture studio lot and have a look around, see? I knew I can count on you. Who better to protect America than a drunk? A dame in a sensitive portrayal of indigenous people. How about we smoke on peace pipe? Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm in. <coughs> <coughs> okay, all right, let's get out of here. I know exactly where to start. Are we going to the movie studio? No, Molly, we're going in here. Can't start a case without a fisted gin. Helps a man think. Mm. Now, where to find these pinkos? Hey there, partner, where are you from? Oh, I am from uh, Georgia. Oh, I do love a peach. Yeah, I'm real American. I sleep with sister and, and finger ship. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I've got to solve this case, and I know just how to get into that movie lot. Hey, Joey, look what I snuck for my old man. God zooks, Nancy. He'll be cross for sure. You'll get a serious spanking. Nah, he only spanks Mommy. Why should he enjoy all this refreshing flavor? Yay! <laughs> when Daddy's not looking, grab that pack. Don't worry about that cough or hack. <laughs> Time to smoke, smoke, smoke really good. It's gotta be that filter tip. Redwood! Yeah. I love you forever, Redwood cigarette! Smoking is just as fun for kids as it is for parents. Have a Redwood. Don't let adults have all the fun. What? Where are you going? Look the other way, pal. We're fighting communists. Oh! I hate these communists! So killed my father in Stalingrad! Look in the writer's room. I hear the filthy socialists often meet there. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared! Shut up, you'll blow our cover. Oh, I'm sorry, Gordon. Estrogen makes me weak-minded. Let's not waste time. We haven't got a moment to lose on dull exposition or silly plot points. I want to go straight to the boss of this place. Vinewood is full of harlots and charlatans and socialist scum, and I want to know who is pulling the strings. We need to have a chat, bucko. Ah, uh, you've been overdoing the fire water again, huh? We can't afford to pay your kind for movie work. We're losing money. This is... Uh, advertising money. I'm no sitting bull, big chief pile of cash. I'm Gordon Moorhead, crime fighter, and I'm hunting commies, see? Ha! I knew it. Uh, those aren't mine. They, they belong to 
belong to the maintenance man. A likely story, blaming the honest poor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zelder. I forgot my artificial hand. You slipped by this time, but I'm convinced you're running a massive propaganda operation here. One that's hell-bent into turning this country into a bunch of weak-minded, overly considerate Lenin lovers. Why, that's a bold-faced lie! Actors and movie executives would never push a liberal agenda! We studio bosses are too busy counting money all day and sleeping with young starlets to care about the dreck we're putting out. What you need to do is uh, visit the writer's room. Yes, that's what you should do. What I need to do is get this young lady out from under my desk. No teeth, damn it. Oops, sorry, Mr. Zelda. I didn't mean it. Oh, Gordon, this is so scary. Shut up. <laughs> Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during the war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? No dumbass Florida. Now shut your yap, we're here. Get it, Zooks! Someone's making monkeys of us. There must be another writer's room. Don't worry. I will track them. Over there. Ha! You're incredible, you savage. Pablo! That's not Pablo. Yes, it is. Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large! Ha 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 ha, comrades! You're too late! Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda! Your workers will, they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China! <laughs> it's good plan, no? <laughs> oh, 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 please! Oh, that is rich! America will always be a pillar of industry! We're unstoppable! Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible! As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies! And besides, I'm about to stop you! <laughs> No, oh, bye bye, comrades! Oh. Oh, I, I fall down! Pablo! Hola, senor Moorhead. Hola, Miss Momstein. Oh, Pablo, where have you been? I stopped for siesta and to have burrito. Such a cunning people. They nap half the day and mix the same four ingredients and give it 20 different names. Oh, can I get a chimichanga? Gordon, I bring you a present. But Pablo, Friendly's no longer a sponsor of this show. See, si, but this is old script, muy viejo. Well, in that case, give me a redwood, buy me a starter home, and stand the hell back. These people are about to be put on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Boom! Aye. I guess weeding out trouble never goes out of style. How, <laughs> muchacho? And I guess I would like a redwood. Join us next time for more adventures with Gordon, Molly, and the gang as they protect America's atomic secrets by setting some off. Only on Morehead Rides Again! <laughs> <laughs>